Now we're going to be getting into primitives, and in this section I'm going to talk specifically about the plane. Now a primitive shape is basically sort of a starting shape. A cube, a sphere, a cylinder. These are shapes that have tools ready-made to create them for you. Often more complex shapes can be formed from combining several primitives together. The simplest type of primitive or surface would be a plane. If I go to my surface menu and plane, I have several ways to create a plane here. The first one is corner to corner. If I pick that, whichever viewport I'm in, I just create one corner, then left click for the second corner, and I have my surface or my plane. So I'll delete that. Three points start of edge, end of edge, and width. Simply another way to form the plane. Now since a plane is not a poly surface, my transform tools such as bend will work on a plane. However, you see the plane is not bending very smoothly. The reason for that is this plane is made up of very few points. In fact, only four. Here you can see them when I turn on my control point. The bend, taper, twist, shear, these transform commands use the points, the control points of the shape to bend it. Basically, these points are telling you how complex the shape is. If there's only four, there's not a whole lot I can do in terms of bending and twisting. So we'll delete that. Surface plane, vertical. Start of edge end of edge. Height. Now for this, as you can see, I'm making no change in my top viewport. I need to go to a different viewport. Even the perspective viewport will work. And so there, again, is my plane. Now also, I can create a plane through points or a cutting plane. For right now, let's just touch on the cutting plane. To do that, I need something to cut. I'm going to create a cube or a rectangle. So there's our cube. I'll move it to the center. Now, surface, plane, cutting plane. Start of cutting plane, I'll choose up here. End of cutting plane, I want to make sure it completely intersects and covers my cube, so I'll go all the way down here. As you can see, this line has been created. Basically, what Rhino has done is said, okay, the shape is this large. I want to make sure to create a plane that will cover at least that much. So the plane is slightly larger. Shaded preview. So that's what our plane looks like intersecting our cube. The purpose for a cutting plane would generally be that I then while I have my cube selected, go to my split tool here, left click, then select, as you can see, cutting surface or poly surface, my plane. Now they're both selected. Now I press enter. It doesn't look like a whole lot has happened, but as you can see, if I delete my plane, now I can select the cube in two halves based on exactly where I split it with my cutting plane. So again, the plane is the simplest of shapes. Basically a flat rectangular surface made up of four points with a skin or simple surface connecting them.